What's up and welcome to your capoeira lesson number two. I wanted to first of all congratulate you for checking out the first video and doing the practices and uh, this week we're going to be focusing on that bima sequence number two. We're going to be doing both parts and we're going to do some strength drills as well as another third sequence that I think you'll really enjoy. And with that let's get into it right away. This has been my sequence two part A and on this one the focus is on the quechada as you see and this is me showing it to you at a normal speed and it's basically quechada, quechada, cocorinha, benção and au and you land on the opposite way. So now let's do it a little bit slowly, show you details, you get back, you start from base, then go into esquiva recuada, do a quechada, land back into base, and then go into esquiva recuada again, before you do the quechada, then from there you do the cocorinha, you'll kick with the benção, and you'll do the au in the same direction of the leg that you kick with. And again, you'll land facing the opposite way, because you're going technically around your opponent. So again, you'll go into quechada, now notice here that first you land into base and then you go ahead and do the esquiva recuada before you do the quechada. A lot of times people tend to just go ahead and sort of mix that all up very fast but you end up doing it the wrong way and you expose your back a little too much. I learned that lesson the hard way. It leaves you open for a venga chiva and it's not nice at all. And now we go into bimba sequence 2 part B. And this one is basically the counter to part A. And as you'll notice, it goes cocorinha, cocorinha, contra armada. You protect yourself to get away from a kick. Then you go into a negativa and a volé. So here slowly, go into cocorinha, then step back to base, cocorinha again. Then you do an armada in the opposite direction of the previous cachada that was shown your way. Then you cover yourself from the bend sound. And do a negativa and a hole. So here goes again, slowly, you go into a cocorinha. It's important to step and then go back to base and then do the cocorinha. Then you do a contra armada, land back into base, then cover yourself from the bend sound, negativa, hole. Let me show it to you one more time at a bit of a regular speed. So now let's go ahead and put them together for you to see how they interact with one another. And as you see, it starts with a cocorinha to get away from the quechadas. And in order to get the right timing, you have to step over, go back into base, and then do the cocorinha for the second quechada to come in. So then there's an immediate cocorinha to get out of the way from the contra armada, a bend sound. Then protect from the bend sound, go into an agachiva, and the other person does that now. one more time just showing you the continuous sequences so it doesn't look too shoppy it's easier to understand so I recommend that you practice this thoroughly till you get really well acquainted with them because remember that these are sort of the fundamentals of the Kodown Giotto group so now let's go ahead and take a quick break for a couple of drills and the first one I want to do is a strength uh, training that I want to use to get your shoulders strong so you can go ahead and do the aus, the volta por cimas and the handstands and what it is is basically a shoulder push up. You start from a plank position and just bring your feet closer to your hands, bring your butt up way to the sky and then go ahead and do the push up. Now here's showing you the front way and then the side way. Now this is a little bit more intermediate to advance, so if that's a little too hard for you, then you can go ahead and do the beginner's way, which is on your knees. The important thing you gotta know is that you gotta raise your behind to the sky, and then lean forward, making sure that your shoulders are being worked out as opposed to your chest. So what I recommend for beginners if uh, push-ups on your feet are a little too challenging is just to go ahead and do it on your knees. Do three sets, eight to ten reps each. Or if you want to go ahead and do it the intermediate way, then you can do it just a normal shoulder push-up. Three sets, ten reps each, and then just rest maybe about 30 seconds or so. So now we're going into the second drill, which is the Aujole. And the reason why I bring this up is because on the Vima sequences one and two, it, there's uh, this is actually part of it. I just haven't added it just yet. But I want you to see that this is me doing 
doing it at uh, normal speed and I think you may already know this but just in case and this is the easy way to do it so first you do an AU then you go ahead and crouch down then you go into Negachiva and then you do a Hole now I'm going to show you sort of a progression so you can practice that and once you get better with it then you can go ahead and do the AU then land in the crouch down position then do a Negachiva and then do a Hole now yet another way that you can do it is you can go ahead and do the AU and as opposed to crouching down and then bringing out the leg, you can just go ahead and keep it straight and uh, bring it on into negativa right away. And that's basically how you do the aujole. This is yet another way, just normal speed for you to check out and practice it till you get comfortable. And next week I'll show you how to add it to the end of the bimba sequence. That and then the other side will actually do a cabezada, which is pretty cool. So now let's get into the third and last sequence of the video and this is one that I really like because it uh, uses some of the older moves, it adds a move that I wasn't too used to using before in a holda and it's a good way to catch people off guard as well as it teaches you good reaction time and how to react to different kicks and unexpected kind of ways with that uh, resistencia at the end. So the way it goes and here it is slowly, is first you start with a melo a diferente avanzada then you will go ahead and do a esquiva lateral, go into a hole, and then go into a esporal from the bottom. Once you land, you'll go into a resistencia, and the reason why that's put in there is to get away from a kick, and here's an example. So just to show it to you one more time, again, it starts with a melo de French avanzada, Go into esquiva lateral, do a hole. Notice how I'm always looking towards the front, even when I'm doing the hole and the sporal. Then you'll do a sporal landing base and go into a resistencia. The reason why I like this sequence a lot is because with that sporal coming from that angle, um, right from esquiva lateral, it kind of throws people off. It really catches people off guard, and it's a good chance that you might land a kick in somebody's face. <laughs> not that you want to, but you at least want to scare them. <laughs> and not only that, but also at the end, you have that resistencia, which teaches you how to receive kicks from an angle that you might not get used to if you don't have time to do a esquiva lateral or even a negativa. Alright, so this is the end of video number two and I just wanted to give you a big congratulations. I know it takes a lot of discipline to train on your own, but it'll pay off so just keep it up and I can't wait to see the results later on at the Hoda. <laughs> Let's go. We gotta run. <laughs> yeah, we do.